Hi, good evening. Good evening, can you hear me? Hi, good evening. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, Beatrice. Okay, um, we are going to start with the midterm exam right now. Uh, but before that, I need you to tell me if you have had any questions or any difficulty working on it. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening, Francisco. Okay. Um, we are going to begin right now with the midterm exam. As you already know, we have how many sections on the midterm? How many sections do we have? Five. Okay. Thank you. Yes. I went wrong with that teacher. I'm sorry. I haven't done yet. You haven't done it? Yes, okay. Teacher. So don't worry about it. We are going to start working on it. Uh Selena said we have five sections on this midterm. The first one, as you already know, is listening. So we're going to begin with that one, okay? So I'm going to play the audio so you can listen to it. And then we are going to share the answers that we have, okay? So let's do it, let me share it. Okay, so here we have it. And let's read the instructions first, okay? Uh, first of all, we have listenings, and it says, listen to the conversation and select the correct answer. So we are going to listen to two conversations for this midterm exam. And as you know, something that I really recommend you when you are taking this type of test is to read the questions so that it can be easier for you to answer them. So let's see, we're going to have... Um, Leslie reading the first question. Feel me is Lucy's friend. Continue reading, please. From Toronto and Michael's place. Classmate. Thank you. Uh, Leslie, can you choose another person, please? Francisco. Okay, Francisco, can you read number two, please? Uh, number two? Yes. Uh, Sylvie's last name is Marso, Marcio, Marco. Thank you. Francisco, can you choose another person, please? Uh, Alex. Okay, Alex, number three. 
Lucy's math teacher is. Lucy's math teacher is pretty great, very interesting, really good. Thank you, Alex. Another person. Um, Karen. Okay, Karen, number four. In the same, in the same chemistry class. No, I mean, can you read the number four and the options, please? Up. Excuse me. Okay. In the cafeteria, in the same school, in the same chemistry class. Okay, thank you. So now that we have read the questions and the possible answers, we are going to listen. We're going to listen carefully and then we're going to share what you already did. Okay? So let's begin. Okay. So give me a few seconds. Oops, no, this is not. This is yours. Okay. Lucy, Michael, and Sylvie are talking. Listen and check the correct answers. Good morning, Michael. Hi, Lucy. How's it going? Pretty good, thanks. How about you? Great. Hey, who's your friend? This is Sylvie Marceau. She's from Canada. Hi, Sylvie. Nice to meet you. I'm Michael Morse. Hi, Michael. It's good to meet you, too. I'm sorry, Sylvie, but what's your last name again? Oh, it's Marceau. How do you spell that? M-A-R-C-E-A-U. I see. So you're from Canada. Are you from Toronto? No, I'm from Montreal. Where are you from, Michael? I'm from Chicago. You know, Sylvie and I are in the same chemistry class this semester. Oh, really? Yeah. And what do you do, Michael? Are you a student here too? Yes, I am. Lucy and I are in the same math class. Oh. Is your class interesting? Yes, it is. It's very interesting. And the teacher is really good. By the way, he's from Canada too. <laughs> really? Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure. Let's go and get some coffee. Okay, Sylvie? Sounds great. Okay, so there we have the first conversation. So, Rick, did you listen to it? Hello? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. So, <laughs> let's see. Number one, we have CLB is. Lucy's, Lucy's friends. friends. Lucy's friend. Okay. Uh, Sylvie's last name is Marcel. Marcel. And how do you spell that? M A R C E A U. -C -E -A -U. Okay. Thank you. Let's see. Number three. Lucy's math teacher is. Really good. Really good. Really good. Really good? Yes. Okay. And number four, it says they are all in the cafeteria. In, in the same school? In the same school. In the same school. In the same, in the same school. school. Same school. Yes. Seguro. Sí, yes. In the yes. cafeteria. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. In the cafeteria, in the same school, or in the same chemistry class? In the same school. Okay. So let's leave it like that. Okay. Lo vamos a dejar así para mientras. Vamos a ver. Okay. So give me a few seconds. Let me see if this one will click like this. Anne and Ben are. Okay. Okay. So we're going to the second part. And this is, well, it says listen to the conversation and select the correct answer. So again, we're going to read the questions and the options that we have. Um, Karen, you were the last one reading. Can you choose another person, please? 
green shirts, red shirts, blue shirts. Okay, can you choose another person, please? Thank you. Carlos. Okay, Carlos, number two. Okay, teacher. The blue shirt are $25, $29, $41. Thank you, Carlos, another person. Okay. Um, Raquel. Okay, Raquel, number three. The green shirts are made of polyester, silk, cotton. Thank you. Raquel, another person, please. Beatriz. Okay, Beatriz, number four. Thanks, say. Um, dark, medium. Small. Okay, thank you. So you can see that there we have four questions and we read the possible answers for each of them. So now we're going to go and listen to the conversation. So let's pay attention carefully, please. Let's begin. Store. Listen and check the correct answers. Hey, those shirts look nice. What do you think, Ben? Yeah, Anne. They do look nice. I really like the blue ones, and the green ones are nice too. Which ones do you prefer? I think I like the green ones better. They're very stylish. Oh, but look at the price. $41. That's expensive. The blue ones are only $29. That's more reasonable. But they're polyester. The green ones are made of better material. They're cotton. Say, Ben, what size are you, small or medium? I wear a medium. But there aren't any medium ones in blue. They're all large or small. Okay, and that was the conversation for the second listening activity. Do you want to listen to it one more time or was it clear for you? It's clear, teacher. It's clear. It's clear. Okay. Perfect. It's clear. So, number one, Gerardo, read the option and give us the answer, please. Green shirts. Okay, so can you read the complete? So, for example, Ben prefers the. And then ben you tell. Prefer, ben prefer the green shirts. Thank you, Gerardo. Another person, please. Tamara. Okay, Tamara, number two. Eh, eh, I, excuse me, I don't listen. Okay. Uh, you couldn't listen to the audio? No. Okay, and now that I have you here, I have a question. Were you able to access to the platform? Uh, they, uh, call me about the about this thing, about all this. Uh huh. And ahorita estoy ingresando literal como hace poco llegué a la casa. Ah, okay. Pero ya pude ingresar. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Eso estoy intentando ahorita. Ah, okay, so let me know, please. So, Tamara, can you choose another person, please? Okay. Gerardo? Ah, uh, Gerardo already participated, so choose another one, please. Okay. Uh, Jonathan Guzman? Okay, Jonathan, number two. Thank you. Mm, the blue shirts are $29. Excellent. Jonathan, another person, please. Uh, Brian. Okay, Brian, number three. 
the green shirts are made of cotton. Cotton, okay. Thank you. And the last one, Brian? Another person, please. Beatriz. Beatriz already participated. Francisco. Francisco, did you participate already? Um, um, yes, no. Erika. Yes. Okay, so Erika, thank you. Okay, then size medium. Okay, medium. Excellent. Are you 100% sure that the answers that we have are the correct ones? Seguro que estas respuestas que hemos marcado son las correctas? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Vaya, lo estamos haciendo en el mío. Conste, okay? Uh -huh. Si es algo mal evaluada o bien evaluada, es por ustedes. Let's see, let's see, let's see. This way, excellent, perfect. So you see, 20 out of 20. So let's move to the next part. Okay. Hmm. Just give me a few seconds. Déjenme borrar allí. Okay, so we're going to the second part. Do you remember what the second part is about? Yes? No? No. You don't remember? Okay, don't worry about it. So we're going there. The second part, as you can see now, it's to fill in the blanks. And as the same in the listening, we have two parts. So the first one says, fill in the blanks with the correct form of B. So you can see that there we have four questions that we need to complete them by using the verb B. So let's see. Erika, you were the last one, right? Sí. Yes. Okay, so can you choose another person, please? Okay. Um, Leslie. Okay. Leslie Cristina. Thank you. Leslie, can you read the first conversation, please? And tell us what the answer is. Where are you from, Teresa? Oops. I'm from Mexico City. How about you? Thank you. So on this one, you said the answer is? R. Thank you. Number two. Okay. Um, can you choose another person, please? Erica. Okay, Erica. Hi, sorry. Okay, number two, please. Is David in your class this semester? Yes. We're in the same Spanish class. Okay, thank you. So we have here is. Okay, so choose another person, please. Okay, um, Raquel. Okay, Raquel, number three. What is your maid class like? It's really interesting and the teacher great. Okay, excellent. And another person, Raquel, please. Daphne. Okay, Daphne, number four. Are Maria and Brian from Canada? No, from England. Okay, thank you. So you can see that the first part, basically, we have four questions. 
where we are using the verb to be. Now we're going to the second part where we need to complete the conversations with the simple present tense. So Daphne, can you choose another person, please? Mm, Karen. Okay, Karen, number one. Where do you work? I work in a restaurant. I am chef. I'm a chef. Chef. Okay, thank you. Uh, can you choose another person, please? Tamara. Okay, Tamara, number two. Tamara? Eh, okay. Number two. Um, what is he do exactly? Is? Is or do I need another auxiliary? Excuse. Mm, no. You can see that here I have do. Mm, what do he do? But it's I have okay. the he. If I'm if I'm talking in third person singular, what is the auxiliary that I use? What does he do? Ah, okay, excellent. Sorry, what does he do? Okay, and Tamara, can you choose another person, please? Mm. Erika. Okay, Erika. Hi. The last one. Yes. Where does she go to school? She goes to the University of Colorado. Which one did you say the answer is? I think that it is do. I'm sorry, but I didn't understand. Where does she? Mm, okay, uh, sorry, but I can barely hear you. Um, Carlos, can you tell us what the answer is, please? Uh, number three, teacher. Yes, the last one. Okay. Uh, it's go. Okay. Where does she Where does go? she go to school? She goes to the University of Colorado. To the University of the Colorado. Colorado. Okay, thank you. So let's send this information right now. Excellent. 20 out of 20. So now we're going to the next part that it is circle the word. The instruction or the instructions set. Choose the right possessive adjective. Okay, so Gerardo, can you read it please? Can you read the question and tell us what the answer is please? Nice, nice to meet you Rick. And what's, what's your last name again? Okay, thank you. Gerardo, another person. Francisco. Okay, Francisco, number two, please. Um, her last name is Parker. It's nice to meet you too. Her last name? Oh, no, my, my last name is Parker. Ah, okay. Thank you, Francisco. Another person, please. Leslie. Okay, Leslie, number three. This is my new friend, Elizabeth. Everyone calls her Beth. 
Okay, thank you. Another person, please. Alex. Okay, Alex. Okay, hi, Beth. Where the Johns? Johnsons. Um, Johnsons. Our first names are Frank and Judy. I'm okay. sorry, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yes. No, espérame, teacher, espérame. <laughs> okay. Ah, sí, 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 it's okay, teacher. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Alex. Another person, please. Okay, well, let me. Leslie. Okay, Leslie again. <laughs> okay, so I... we have. Sorry, I'm going to read the instructions. It says that we're going to choose the proper object pronouns. On the second part, we're going to choose the proper object pronouns. So, Leslie, go on, please. Johnny Depp is my favorite actor. I like him a lot. Okay, thank you. Leslie, another person? Brian? Brian, thank you. Music videos aren't very interesting. Do you like them? Okay, thank you. Brian, another person? Uh, Beatriz. Okay, Beatriz, number three. Uh, my favorite TV program is Vapor. What do you think of me? Of me? Me? Okay, just look at the sentence that we have. My favorite TV program is Survivor. What do you think of her, it, or me? First of all, the king is soy hablando acá. Ah, okay. Thank you. Yes. If you can notice, we're talking about a TV program, which is Survivor, okay? And since this is a thing, I'm going to use it, okay? Thank you. Do you have any questions for this part, or is everything clear for you? No? No question. Okay, and are you sure that all the answers that we have chosen are the correct ones? Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes, sure. Okay, sure. excellent. I like it. So let's see. Perfect. So let's move to the next part. On this one, it says complete the sentence. Um, it says fill in the gaps with the correct time expression. So now we're going to time expressions. So we have, I sleep 10 p.m. on weekdays. Um, I have a question. How many of you are using a computer? Me. Who said me? Francisco. Okay, so Francisco, I'm going to give you control of my computer so you can write the answer for number one. Okay. okay, so I'm okay. going to do it right now. Okay. And can you read the, the correct, well, the complete sentence, please? I sleep at 10 p.m. on weekdays. Excellent. So, sorry, I'll take control again. Voy a tomar control otra vez okay. de la... Thank you. Who else is using a, a computer, a desktop computer or a laptop? You, Carlos? Yes, Sorry. teacher. Okay, yes, teacher. so I'll give you control. Permítame, que quiero... Okay. Que sale que todavía Francisco tiene control de la mía. Y no, no se lo puedo... <laughs> Okay, so now I'll give it to you, Carlos. Okay. Okay, there you go. So you're going to complete number two and read it, please. Okay, teacher. 
John get home late at night. Okay. Thank you. And why at night? Late at night. ¿Por qué estamos usando at? Porque la regla de cuando es noche, at night. Okay, excellent. Uh, let's see, who else is using a computer? Raquel. Raquel, okay, so I'll give you control right now. Yeah. Give me a few seconds. Okay, there you go. They have lunch on Saturday around 1 p.m. Excellent, thank you. Let's see. ¿Quién más está en computadora? Hi, teacher. Gerardo. Yes. Okay, so I'll give you control right now. There you go. Can you read the answer or the complete sentence, please? Okay, only number four, please. <clears throat> Gerardo? Gerardo, microphone off. Yeah. I go to bed around 11 in the evening. Okay, thank you. Okay, so give me control again, please. Okay, just hold on. Thank you. Who else is using a computer? No one else? No? Los demás están en el celular? Okay. So, Carlos, I'll give you control again. Okay, you are on mute. We have class in the morning. Thank you. Carlos, you're on mute. Okay, give me a few seconds. Stop um, controlling my computer just for a few seconds because you're on mute. Tiene el micrófono apagado, Carlos. Okay, permítame. Déjeme ver si lo puedo, le puedo quitar el silencio desde acá, la compu. Permítame, no toque el mouse, no toque el mouse o para mientras, déjeme. Ahí le tiene que salir la opción para reactivar el, el audio. Ok, okay. Yeah. okay But now you can have control yeah. of my computer again. Ok. Yes. And, and who read the answer or who said the answer? Okay, teacher number five. We have class in the morning. Okay, thank you. So can you type the answer, please? Oh, oh yes, yes, sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay. Not a problem. So now we're going to help Carlos. He's going to have control of my computer and you are going to be telling him 
Okay, the answer. So we have the second part that says fill in the sentences with demonstrative pronouns. So Brian, number one. How much is this watch? I can find a price tag. Okay, so Carlos, can you type the answer, please? Thank you. Um, let me see, Raquel, number two. Look at um, these purple jeans over there. Over there? Over there, aren't they stylish? Okay, so did you say these? These? Okay. These. Read this, teacher? These. Okay. Yeah. Okay, do you agree? No. No. Why not? Those. those Why those? Those. Those. Why? This is correct. Are you sure? No. Why not? Because they are far um, ah and how do you know that they are far plural yeah we have plural but remember that if we have something that is plural can be near or can be far from us but mm -hmm. how do you know that they are far those far okay so let me make the question the answer again. is those teacher why Alex? Because, because it's long uh, it's far. The jeans is far because this uh, uh, the the question is over there. Because it's ah, como que okay. diga, uh -huh. Excellent. That's the answer that I was looking for. When we have the expression over there, so we are here and I'm saying over there means that it's far. Okay. It's far from the speaker. And since we're talking about jeans, you said that the answer is? What is the answer? Those, teacher. Those. Those, thank you. Yes, just keep in mind that. Okay, when we have the expressions here, it means that they are near us. But if we have the expression over there, it means they are far, okay? Thank you. Continue. Number three. Let me see. Um, Tamara. Tamara. Sí. Okay, number three. What is earrings? Earrings, aretes. Earrings? Mm -hmm. I like, I like these color rings. Okay. Mm. These. These or these? These. These. Okay, so how do you spell it? E H E S E. Okay, excellent. Um, let's see. Tamara, can you choose another person, please? Okay. Mm. Beatriz. Okay, Beatriz, number four, please. Excuse me, I like that cup. Uh, can I see it, please? Okay. Please, please. 
So you said the answer is that. that. Okay. And the last one, Gerardo. She likes those places over here. There. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so are you sure that those are the correct answers? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Okay, so let's submit them, please. Let's see. Okay. Algún día se van a enviar, permita. <laughs> Okay, try it again, Carlos, please. Okay. Okay, excellent. So just give me control back, please. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, uh, so don't move the, the mouse. Let me see if I can do it from here okay so here i go thank you okay teacher. so now we're going to the last part the last part as you have been working already you know that it's a reading so we have here these well this email and then we are going to check the answers um let me see if we can make it bigger so you can read it okay excellent let me see who hasn't participated ¿Quién no me ha participado el día de ahora? no i think that all of you had participated but Karen, can you read the first um three sentences please Hi Ernesto, in your mail, email, messenger, you ask me what do I, what do I do every day? Well, I am a student at the University of Michigan. I really like my class. I thank used to like I say okay. Yes, thank you. Continue, mm -hmm. Jonathan. I Sorry, uh, I study computer uh, science. Science. And Chinese. Sorry? Science. Science and Chinese. I go to school around 8 in the morning or weekdays. Thank you. Continue, Daphne. Around noon, I have lunch with some classmates. On Mondays and Fridays, I work out in the gym before my classes okay thank you um erica continue please and in the late afternoon on tuesday and thursday my friend daniel and i have part-time jobs thank you uh let me see gerardo continue please We work in the school cafeteria and I study in the library. Library. Every, library every midnight until about 2 a.m. Okay, thank you. And Francisco, continue, please. I am a full time student and I don't have time to watch TV. Thank you. And the last Raquel. And what do you do? Send my another email, please. Your need a friend, Chris. Chris, your new e friend, Chris. Okay, excellent. So now that we have read this email, we're going to answer the 
given questions. Number one says, Ernesto is Chris. New friend. New friend? Yes, new friend. Yes. Okay. Then we have, Chris is a... TV announcer. Full-time student. TV announcer, part-time teacher, or full-time student? Full-time full student. Full-time full student. Full student. Full student. Ah, okay. Daniel. Is we, Chris friend. Chris friend. Okay. And on Tuesdays and Thursdays, Chris... Work with Works Daniel. Or with Daniel. Daniel. With Daniel. Works with Daniel. Okay. Seguros? Yes. A hundred percent sure? Okay, so let's check. Perfect. Okay, excellent. Um, well, basically, this is the midterm exam, as you can see. Then we are going to start with the section four. But I need you to tell me if everything that we have worked on is clear for you or if you have questions. Can you tell me? Yes, is everything clear for you? Yes, it's yes clear. teacher, it's clear. Yes, mm -hmm. Okay, yes, you always say yes, it's clear. However, let me tell you something. Va, aquí viene lo bonito. O sea, ustedes siempre me dicen que sí, que todo está claro, o sea, perfecto. Sin embargo, este, estaba revisando lo, las participaciones que ustedes tienen, ¿verdad? Ya sea aquí en la plataforma o en el foro, etc. And I was noticing that there are some parts or some things that we need to improve. For example, I have seen that some of you are making this question. What do you do? Is this question correct? Yes, no, and why? Because you are using S like bear to be. Ah, okay. So the correct question is, what do you do? What do and you do? what is the answer for this question? I do exercise, for example, teacher. Mm, are you 100% sure? Um, I'm a student. Ah, okay. I'm a student. 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 ¿Y de qué estamos hablando entonces con esa pregunta? Profesión. 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 Excellent. Yes, even though I'm using here the auxiliary do and I have a verb, I'm not talking about activities or any other things. I'm talking about your profession. So what do you do? I'm a student. So you can say, I'm a doctor. I remember that Karen, yeah, Karen said that she is a nutritionist. Right? Yes, teacher. Is a nutritionist. I remember that Tamara said Tamara is a photographer. Okay. But the question is going to change. Why? Because we're talking in the first. So, what is the question going to be? That. What does? Does. She or she do. He do. do. Okay. Gerardo, what do you do? I am agroindustrial engineer. Okay. Thank you. So you can see here that we're talking about professions. 
that's something that I was able to see on the on your participation that we have in the platform, okay? Estaba revisando las participaciones de ustedes en la plataforma y pude notar ese error, ¿verdad? Another one um, that I could see is that you are making the question, what do you do? And what you are saying is, uh, for example, I work in a school. Does it have, or does it make sense to you? ¿Tiene sentido esa respuesta para ustedes? No, porque está diciendo que trabaja en una escuela. Ah, okay. So if I want to know the place that you work for, ¿cuál sería la pregunta entonces? Where do you work? Where do you okay. work? Where do you work? Okay. So we have the question. Where do you work? Do you work? Okay. Now you can say I work in a school. Or you can say I work in a clinic. Okay. So this is for you to have an ID. O sea, no es que les esté diciendo que, no, no estoy diciendo nombres, pero sí, estaba revisando eso y he podido notar esos pequeñísimos errores, ¿verdad? So we need to improve them, we need to work on that. Porque sí, si no, si no se los corrijo, se van a quedar así, van a pensar que lo están haciendo de manera correcta. Okay. Um, another one that I could see. Si me voy otra vez con el what do you do, la respuesta que estaba viendo es que me han puesto esta. Permítame ya se las Ok. The one that I could see is this. Is this correct? No. No, please Ajá, uh -huh. why not? Okay, yeah. We don't have a pronoun. Okay, yeah. So we need to be careful on that. Esos son algunos errores que estaba viendo, ¿verdad? Que están ahí en los comentarios. No por eso quiero quiere decir que no, no tienen que trabajar o que no lo hagan. Claro que no, ¿verdad? O sea, yo, me gusta revisar bastante eso. Ir viendo cómo están escribiendo para ver si hay áreas de oportunidad o si todo ha quedado claro, ¿verdad? En este caso estaba viendo que sí había eso. Bueno, estaba eso, ¿verdad? Quiero ver, déjenme ver si hay otra actividad. Let me choose another one. We have... Week one, eso fue de la primera semana. Veamos si hay de la segunda semana. Okay, so no I'm not showing anyone. No estoy mo bueno, no me sale ninguna. Aún. Oh. And still, I... Can see another mistake. Acabo de ver otro error. When we are talking about time, cuando hablamos de tiempo. Okay, si ustedes quieren saber la hora del almuerzo, ¿cómo va a ser? How would you ask for lunch time? What? Mm -hmm. What? What time? What time? We have a lunch? What time? Do you have lunch? Do you have lunch? Do you have lunch? Do you have lunch? Have lunch? Do you have lunch? Okay. You cannot say what time. Okay. So be careful on that. Estoy viendo ese error bien seguido ahorita que estaba revisando. So, let's be careful on that. Okay. Bye. Eso sería mi feedback con algunas de las participaciones que he visto que están ahí en la plataforma. No sé si de verdad está todo claro o si tienen alguna duda.
No. Teacher. Ajá. Este, yo siempre, bueno, me confunde lo de las preposiciones at, it, in, on. Cuando okay. utilizarlas. Permítame prepositions of time. Sí, yo siento que ahí es un poquito más fácil porque ya están dados los, así por decirle, los, los items en los que uno los va a utilizar. Por ejemplo, el at, habíamos dicho que es para specific time. time. Specific. Ok, thank you Gerardo. Permítame. Ahorita les comparto. Aquí está. Ok. So you can see here. Tenemos lo que son times, holiday periods, at night, at the weekend, at lunch time, at dinner time, at breakfast time. Ok, ahora bien, lo que es la preposición on, on la voy a utilizar con los días, días más morning, afternoon, evening and night. Puede ver el ejemplo, on Tuesday morning, on Sunday morning, on Monday afternoon, on Saturday night. Ok, y con fechas. You can see on the 20th. Of June. Nosotros terminamos clases cuando? December 19th. On? On December 19th. On December 19th. Seguro que el 19 de diciembre terminamos. We're going to finish on this December module 11. on December 10th. 10. Yes, on December 10th. Ok, ahí estoy hablando de fechas, por lo cual utilizo lo que es el on. Ok, now in, I'm going to use it with years, months, decades, centuries, seasons, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. La diferencia está que acá estoy usando el día de la semana más morning, afternoon, evening, or night. En cambio acá solo estoy diciendo en la mañana, en la tarde, en la noche. Ok. We have years. In 1992. In 1988. Then we have month. Tenemos los meses. In December. In June. In July. In November. Y así sucesivamente. Tenemos las décadas, in the 60th, in the 40th, y así sucesivamente. Los siglos, in the 19th century, in the 21st century, siglo XXI, ¿verdad? And we have seasons, las estaciones. In winter, in summer, in autumn. ¿Y ¿Cuál es el otro? I'm missing one. Spring. In spring. spring. Ok, excellent. Vaya, prácticamente esos son los usos que tienen las preposiciones de tiempo. Es decir, at, on, in. ¿Ok? Aquí solamente es de memorizarse con quién va cada uno de ellos para poderlos aplicar. ¿Ok? No sé si me he dado a entender. Sí, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Another question. No. Okay. If there are no more questions, we are going to stop here and we will continue on Monday with section four. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay. Thank you so much for coming and see you on Monday. Okay. Bye, bye. Good evening. Bye. Good evening. Good, evening. Good, evening. Good, evening. Good, evening. Good night. Remember. Good night. Good night. Yes. Bye, teacher. Okay. Bye.